Today we have a well-deserved, one might say, legendary character. The ancestor of one of the most popular classes. Even in its seventh generation, the Golf 7 remains in many ways the benchmark for a compact city car. However, progress and manufacturability, alas, require sacrifice. Let's try to figure out which. The seventh generation Golf was first shown in 2012, on the eve of the Paris Motor Show. And he began his victorious march around the planet in 2013, when he was awarded the titles of Car of the Year in Europe and World Car of the Year. The hatchback even managed to get a similar Japanese title. Considering that for the past 33 years it has only been given to local characters, the seventh generation Golf has shown remarkable abilities. But it's true, while you are exchanging the first thousand kilometers on it, Golf is able to bewitch the technological and ergonomic magic of innate perfection. But then, alas, there may be problems. Golf owes its regalia not to its own charms, although they are partly too, but to the universal MQB platform on which a large number of excellent cars have been built. It was fundamentally distinguished from the 6 by increased dimensions, body rigidity, a wheelbase that had grown by almost 6 centimeters, a trunk increased by 30 liters and a weight reduction of 100 kilograms. The task is considerable. Well, in terms of technology, there was no fundamental breakthrough. The Golf 7 borrowed a fair amount of options and electronic security systems from premium colleagues in the workshop, but structurally it did not go far from the Golf I. A huge number of motors were offered for him in Europe, but in Ukraine the choice was much narrower. Petrol, DSI, 1.2 liter with 110 horsepower, 1.4 liter with 122 and 150 horses, yes, 2 liter diesel, DDI, which produced 110 and 150 horsepower. Power. There was also a 220 horsepower Golf GTI with a 2.0 DDI, but this is a near-exclusive version, not to mention the 300-horsepower Golf R. In the case of the DSi, the standard customer complaints were mainly related to the failure of the turbine and the oil burner. There are other problems as well. In addition, small-volume engines do not warm up the interior well in winter at idle. The kid asks for a standalone stove. Although in terms of dynamics, elasticity and economy, the 1.4-liter TSi is perhaps beyond competition. Traditionalists who don't trust technology would love to opt for a naturally aspirated 1.6 MPI, but we didn't officially have one. The experience of neighboring countries has shown that the proven engine turned out to be significantly more reliable and cheaper to maintain than turbocharged units. Although problems with increased oil consumption also affected him. Add here noisy work, floating idle, and here are the symptoms of the death of the phase regulator, which, in turn, can lead to the death of the piston. But let's not talk about sad things, the resource of this engine with careful maintenance is quite high. And if you need the most reasonable used car in this class, then no one, well, perhaps, except for the Focus, will be able to compete with the Golf 1.6 MPI MKP5. Further on the plan should be lamentations on the topic of the DSG7 transmission with two clutches and a dry sum. We still have them, and quite justifiably, they avoid them on the secondary market, although no one has yet come up with anything better in the movement fast, comfortable, economical. But alas, this does not mean reliable. VW now and then modernizes these boxes, and sometimes they even go without repair for more than 100,000 km. But this asset is definitely not for the secondary market. Repairing them after the end of the warranty is very expensive. Kicks when shifting gears, failure of mechatronics, wear of clutch discs, such ailments are quite typical for the 7-speed robot of the 7th Golf. So if you're careful with the two three-letter words DSG and TSI, the Golf will not only be a joy to drive, but also a good value for money investment. Although this car can no longer be called the standard of reliability. The problem with unstable paintwork is only partly massive, corrosion is a guest so far even more rare. But there are also troubles in the body. For example, it's leakage in heavy rain. The suspension is stiff and the rear sometimes taps, which even dealers do not undertake to fix. By the way, a beam was placed behind the less powerful versions, the Multilink relied on more expensive versions. So, the beam behaves more disciplined. The disadvantages of the chassis, rather, are that, having a fair margin of safety, it rarely tells you about malfunctions. So if you do not want to overpay for repairs, which will cost a lot, you will have to regularly monitor the material using a lift. Well, in general, not bad. 100,000 kilometers on domestic roads without repair for the suspension is not to say that a mass phenomenon, but not an exception to the rule, but the least questions to the interior and electrics. The equipment, quality and thoughtfulness in this car just captivate. 
comfort and ergonomics are beyond praise. And when all this is involved in excellent driving performance, in a word, there are many more people who want to buy a used golf than there are hunters for a new car. So we do not recommend to yawn in the market. There are no serious problems with the suspension, brakes and steering. Front shock absorbers and ball bearings rarely require replacement. Silent blocks will live for more than 100,000 km. After about 80,000 km, tie rods and stabilizer struts will be asked to retire. It is advisable to change paired parts at the same time. In order not to spend tens of thousands of hrivni as every 50,000 km on DSG repairs, you can try to find a car with a 1.6 engine and a classic 6-speed automatic. Such versions were imported in small quantities by grey dealers. However, there are doubts that the owners of these machines will want to get rid of them. Golf owners calculated that the AI-98 recommended for TSI engines, alas, not by the manufacturer, and oil change every 7.5 thousand kilometer, and not after 10 to 15 thousand kilometer, as required by the usual regulations, coupled with oil burner, characteristic of the entire series of EA211 engines, nullify fuel savings already by 70 thousand kilometers. There are cars whose paint happens to peel off in bubbles. Corrosion is no longer uncommon in such cases. This misfortune concerns the rear arches, sills, as well as the points of contact of the wings with the rear bumper. The bottom also suffers, especially its front part. So anti-corrosive when buying a car is a significant plus. There are usually few problems here. However, breakdowns, according to the forums, happen. Already at the age of 3, some change the oil level and outside temperature sensors. The parking sensors are on. It happens that the media system requires a flashing. Repair is not cheap. Let's say replacing a faulty fuel pump can cost 10,000 Ukrainian hryvnia. 